Welcome back to L.A. Noir. We're gonna find out what Mrs. Black knows about the mysterious disappearance slash possible murder of her husband. I thought you were gonna say possible popping. Let's go introduce ourselves. Possible Stop combustion. We'll That's right, there we go. Alright, this is our, uh, I wouldn't say this is a crime scene, but this is where, this is our first bit of investigation. Yes. So we LA come in. Mrs. Black, may we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. All right. Hmm. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. Blood everywhere! It's like this brain matter and organs! Just Yes, yes, thank you, Bukowski. Just saying, have you seen that scene in It, a movie that hasn't been made yet? Oh, no. <laughs> Remember that scene in Blade Runner where? <laughs> yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. I knew it was the water heater. Mark him up, arrest him. That water heater's going down. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything. Kenmore, you're under arrest for the murder of Adrian Black. Look around. When you're ready. We're gonna have some more questions for you. Uh, oh, what's this brand? Instaheat? I think something like that. Anything to help Book them. All right, well, we're gonna investigate the, the residence for a little bit. See what kind of clues that Adrian Black had going around here. But one thing we can do is we can use intuition point. Intuition points should remove an answer, ask community, and they show all clues. So now oh. all the clues have appeared on the mini map. So now we don't miss anything, and we can save ourselves a little bit of time. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm using a guide anyway, so not like it matters, but this is just kind of a neat way to show it off. <gasps> and besides, oh, hey. we got another we got another newspaper here. Nice. This is our second newspaper of thirteen. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, your friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. Is your name Allison? He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. I'm sorry, but those are called your eyeballs, and they are going to be there forever. I hate seeing, though! Seeing makes me see things, and I hate it! I've seen so many things. I wish I didn't have to see things anymore. What you're supposed to get from this is that this uh, Dr. Harlan Fontaine guy uh, uses drug therapy. Journey back. In order to help with flashbacks and other mental disorders. He's a... I don't know what he's injecting in them, but it's obviously not good. I'm thinking he's having them trip on LSD so they forget their past or something like that? Oh. Makes sense to me. So he's, a, he's an alienist. He doesn't believe in any sort of, you know, psychology. He just wants to pump them full of drugs so that way everyone forgets their problems. Ah, oh, I got my fix. I almost forget all the people I murdered in Afghanistan. Oh. <laughs> Afghanistan? You, it was World War II. It was supposed to be in, like... In Japan. I've forgotten everything. <laughs> who, who sent him to Afghanistan? I didn't approve that. <laughs> Maybe so, was a patron. we got matches for Kavanaugh's oh, Bar. Looks like a place that he frequents. Hmm. So maybe we should, uh, we can, uh, get a phone call to that a little bit later. We, we can, uh, we get a, we get a phone, ask Scar and I where this Kavanaugh's bar, that's, this, uh, Kavanaugh's bar is. Can't talk. But look, there's another pair of matches from the same place. All right. Swear to God, if we go to Kavanaugh's bar and we see a pig at the bar, we know he did it. Book the pig. Hmm. What do we got here? Oh, look. Bam. Insta heat. A uh, receipt for Insta Heat. Maybe it's time we took a look around. Looks outside. like this guy's been beat. All right. Guy I'd like to meet. As I said before, book the water heater. Water heater did it. What we should also look at is the coupon ah, or yes, voucher. I did. Uh, well, there's the address. Hey, two fifty. Good God. And that's just for hot water, 24 hours a day. 
I'm missing something here. Is there anything on the back or? Oh, yep. Yep, there is. Not rust they or can't rust or corrode. They're guaranteed mm. for 10 years. 10 years! Wow! $8.50 down. Holy shit! I'm gonna have to start doing some inflation adjustments and see how much this shit is actually for. It's like, expensive. Fu- like, every, um, everything uh, is expensive nowadays. Just imagine this. Th- that must have been at least, like, $800, $900 or something. Because what was the comments telling me? Uh, 53, 60, or however much the pearly wings were in that one case was like about $600. Ooh. Fuck. And we got here, though. A train a ticket. Suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Uh-oh. Hmm. I think someone's looking to fuck off. <laughs> That's an official police term, by the way. This must be Adrian's. How do we know it's Adrian's? Because there's no glasses in it. Oh my god! And it's from Stenzel. Because it's Stenzel, yes. There's still see. one more clue over here, though. One more still clue. one thing we're missing. Hmm, let's see here. Let's take a look at the picture, I believe. Uh, nope. Yeah, yes. there we go. Let's take a look at this picture, hell. And, oh, hey, look, it's Drew Carey. I know, right? Let's take a look here. Ah, here we go. To my Adrian, lovesick and lonely without you. Hmm. Hurry back, my darling. Nicole? Interesting. But Mrs. Black's name is Margaret. He's been cheating. He has something. Nicole is the name of the pig! I got it! Alright, let's call in that Kavanaugh's bar and get the address. You're going to hear these two phrases a lot. Three phrases, actually. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. All right. Thanks for your help. That was easy. At the Union Station, we've got a place where the bar is, so now we can drive there, because, you know, this isn't, you know, nowadays where we can just open up Google Maps and be like, where's Kavanaugh's bar? Boop! Right there. Be there in about ten. Alright, see you, Mrs. Black. I'm just gonna go outside and, uh, you know, stomp on some bushes, maybe kill your dog. Oh. Steal your wire cutters. <laughs> oh, shit. Why does she have wire cutters? Uh, or maybe those are just, like, pruning shears or something That's like That's that. a red herring. Sometimes they throw in uh, unrelated items to make Cole Phelps go, oh, this, this doesn't mean anything. Just uh, put some extra time on the game. Oh know. my god, one of these puzzles. I can't believe it. <laughs> I know, it feels like I'm playing a 90s PC game over again. Oh, lo- or looking at a 90s screensaver. This was like a job for Pajama Sam. <laughs> I always hated these mini games in Bioshock. That can't be right. Oh, I guess it isn't. Fool! Hmm. Maybe it... Oh, it goes over here. There we go. Ah. And then this piece goes there. Ta-da! So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the plot thickens. Oh my god. <laughs> I assume all these are for, like, you know, solving a puzzle or finding a thing or doing us doing a stuff. Yeah, I notice you. You normally with games like this, you get an achievement for finding one collectible. Possibly the next achievement is five collectibles. And it's like even it's more. like one half all, I think. So let's interview her. She's got some things to say. I am certain. Was made out to an F Morgan. A pig. Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. Frank Morgan. What he's up to. Hmm. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. Very shady. So I think Frank Morgan and Adrian Black were, uh... Keep his distance from the something's staff. going on here. Either Adrian wants to get the hell away for from, uh, L.A. for some reason. Or Frank Morgan killed him. One of two possible choices here. I mean, I already know what the answer is, but you know. Shut up! I'm trying to figure it out! <laughs> up until recently... So Adrian spends a lot of time at the bar. I, I definitely know people like that. We could make this the darkest episode of a pup named Scooby-Doo. Did tell you where he was going last night? <laughs> All he said was 
Detective Cole Phelps, would you do it for a Scooby snack? Cole Phelps, Cole Phelps, Cole. Cole Buddy Phelps, oh, Cole, Phelps, Cole, Cole Phelps, Phelps, Cole Phelps. Well, he came home early from work. He came <gasps> home early. Oh. Coming home early from work in the 1940s? He must be a communist! No! Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here? What about his glasses, though? Yes, he just bought a new pair. What can you tell me about the glasses? He just bought a new pair. Look kind of broken to me. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Uh-huh. Hmm. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent <gasps> business trip. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh! Got him! Looks like he met someone in Seattle. Uh-oh. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph. <laughs> <laughs> Slam your hands on the table. Damn it, tell me about the photo. But I guess you You're know. fucking me over! I told you what I know. It's my first goddamn day. You will tell me what I want to know. I will blow your fucking head off if you lie to me one more goddamn time. <laughs> you will look like that possibly exploded husband of yours in that car. Straight dope, bitch. <laughs> I've seen the photo frame. Well, that time uh, we actually had some evidence saying, you know, it's like, well, what about the photos? Like, I don't know anything about the photos. It's like, oh, yeah, well, what about this thing on the back? Oh, well, okay. Oh, damn it. All right, fine, you caught me. God only knows. But I don't think she's involved. She doesn't look all that... Guilty. Malicious? What's her alibi, though? clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? Circumstances suspicious. You're not accusing me, are you? I'm calling your circumstances facetious. Please explain. I was here all night, of course. You think he throws around big words and doesn't know what they mean? I think your circumstances are judicial. Mrs. Black, can you tell me about supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? I was here alone. I cooked Looks like we got a real life pugilist on our feet. What? We'll keep you informed, he... Mrs. Black. So hey, we got a new outfit. Oh, cool. Because we, we got enough experience points to get the Sword of Justice outfit. Wow, for a fifth rank, Sword of Justice does not fit at all. Oh, Ooh, I like that. Looks that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, sorry that I got changed right in front of you, Mrs. Black. I'll, I'll be sure to send the bill. What are you doing later tonight? My husband might be dead and all. <laughs> I'm looking for a new player, too, if you know what I mean. So, okay. Let's head down to Kavanaugh's bar. Alrighty. Because that's where, uh... That's where Adrian Black Jesus, used to go a lot, so maybe we can know about Nicole and... Oh, don't like oh Jesus! Indestructible fences again! Oh, oh you've Austin powered it! I Austin powered it again. Oh, God! When you say you Austin powered something in the past tense, is it Austin powered or Austin powers -ed? I would say powers because it is the character Austin Powers. His action is known by his name. So you done did it. Oh, I th I took a wrong turn. Oh. Shit. I need to, I need I need to get off. Damn it. I, I, you can't I need to get, get through off. the indestructible fences though. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, you, you see did that? it again. Here we go. Okay. Here's that ramp. Oh, stunt jump. Stunt jump. Ah. Oh. Look out. Yeah, right. Ah. Not in these cars. Holy oh. shit. Made it. All right. We're on track. So your partner's dead probably cuz <laughs> these cars suck. I think part of my favorite is how your character, your uh, partner is like, OH SHIT! <laughs> Whatever you do this stuff. WHAT THE HELL, COLE? WHAT THE yeah, FUCK well, IS THE MATTER you, WITH what YOU? What are you doing? <laughs> it's like he's yelling at me. I'm rough riding, dude! Let's go! Woo! I kinda wish uh, Cole Phelps went through Vietnam so this erratic driving would make a little bit more sense. Feels like I'm riding in a tank, buddy! Let's go! No, you're not! You're not riding in a tank! Oh, oh god! Oh. Welcome to Kavanaugh's. 
where the door stays open. Hey, I know you. Jeez. No, you don't. Is that to understand? Huh? What's that? What'd you fucking say? We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for for old times' sake? Uh huh. I tried uh, to shoot him. Uh, I, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't. Please don't shoot the drunks. They don't know Someone. anything. You do a lot of walking, not you know much uh, pulling your gun out whenever you sure. want. So. Uh... Frank's your regular. He's a oh, Frank guy. Morgan's here. The guy who bought the pig. So we're, we're gonna give uh, Frank uh, a little talk to and see what he's what he knows. Cole Phelps, now, LAPD. we're gonna interrogate him. Black. We're gonna interview him, whatever yeah, I word you want to use. And if we if we get these questions wrong, then we have to spend like ten minutes tailing him. Ooh, yeah. So right. we're gonna so here we go. We're, we're gonna do all the interviews correctly because that just makes the game go by so much faster. Hell no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. <clears throat> wow. I'm not gonna jerk off this bully. Wait, what'd you're you say? Lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, Detective. How about you prove oh? I was out at that rail yard? How can I prove it? Well, I've got a receipt that's got mm -hmm. your name on it. Here it is. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. Has your name on it. Oh, oh book him! All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. What? Attacked? Oh, exactly it's, it's like a, what, one of the parasites no got idea. inside of him and just kind of overtook his body and then just. Seattle. He got an anime death in that lies, car. Lies and more lies, Morgan. You know where he is. What have you got that says I know where he is? Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> that's that's an example of backtracking. Spill it. I like doing that, uh, especially when they're obviously telling the truth. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa, apartment number two. So now. Ooh. That's all. We're gonna go ahead to Thanks his apartment, help, which is where Adrian Black hey, just might just be. I, could help. I love cops. Bang bang! <laughs> you don't love them anymore, do ya, motherfucker? This is the LAPD, so more like thwack thwack. Oh right, right, right. So we can arrest him or leave him be, but I eh, didn't do nothing. He's just a shady guy. I mean, he didn't do anything, did he? I mean, from the evidence, it looks like he just staged a fake murder. Like, maybe aiding and abetting a criminal, but, you know, we don't even know if he's a criminal yet. So we're gonna head to Morgan's apartment and see what's going on here. Man, I really want to play this game now. This is all your fault. I, th I think I still have my copy of L.A. Noir somewhere around here. Don't you got the remastered version? No, no, I've got the, I've got the old multi-disc version. Oh. Maybe I should get it remastered, just to compare and contrast, you know? Hmm. Ah, forget it. If you get the remastered, you get all the cases, because... While I have all the DLC, there's still one case that we're not going to be able to get to. Because, oh. for, for some fuck reason, it's a PlayStation exclusive, and only in the remastered oh. version. Uh, what?! I don't fucking know why. All right, tell me which one that is. We'll we'll go for the remaster version after everything's done. It's one of the most recent ones here. Like it? Oh, it, it's a. I don't think it's next, but I think it's the one after the next one. All right, well, fuck it. Bonus episode. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out. It's just a, it's just a traffic thing. We we got uh, most of the DLC is in like the later, the later channels. Oh, okay. Like yeah. I got gotcha. you. Vice, arson, you homicide, all that. Out. Go on and try the door. I'm just checking these different doors to see if I can, you know, knock on anyone else's doors. Like, oh, sorry. But nope, just this one. Help you, gentlemen. Hey, Help look who it is. Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Ooh, under arrest. I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. Bullshit. Yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him, Bullshit. you motherfucker! Bullshit! Bullshit! Come on! Bullshit! Get him! Uh, 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 get him! Just, uh, 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 uh. Oh, uh, oh! 
Oh, oh. He's on the roof. Come Let's go on. do it. Got him. Get you, motherfucker. Come here. Up. Oh. Come here, Andrew Black. Get back here right now. Huh. All right, uh, slide down the pole. Good lord. Okay, Does every case have to end like this? Stop oh, hey. Oh, nice. Hello. <sighs> I thought it would be easier. Uh, no, it just got a lot harder. I think a disc got out of place. You're uh, under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has oh, to say. Oh, pull the hammy. Police uh, resources uh, on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. So check it. We just turned a mysterious car at a freight depot, and a little bit of grunt work, a little bit of elbow grease. We somehow turned that, that into turned out to be fraud. Some case, huh, Adrian? How crazy. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case. I like that. I like stories that start one place and then end up in a place you wouldn't expect. I like it. I don't know why you don't watch Law & Order, because literally, Law & Order is just like this, but like in the 90s and 2000s. I don't know. And the best part is we even get into the, the trial part of it, too. Hence, <gasps> hence the Law & Order part, you know? But hey... Good that's, job. That's our first case. Uh, a little bit of vehicle damages. Oh, God. And, uh, and some city damage, too. Oh, and God. That that does affect our uh, rating a little bit. <laughs> Five star is the best we get. But, uh, you know, you know, whatever. I have deep pockets. I'm working in the military. But, hey, that does Jesus. it for this, uh, this episode of L.A. Noir. We'll see you next time with a brand new case.